Welcome me everyone, you've updated to the iOS 17 and your battery drain is quite bad. The first thing to do, sounds a little bit corny, but just leave your phone off for a couple of hours. After a software update, the applications on your iPhone needs to optimize in the background and so your phone is going to feel hot and the battery drain will be quite bad for the first couple of hours. If you've waited a couple of hours and things aren't great, then the first thing is we're going to open up the settings and inside of the settings, I want you to scroll all the way down until you see here, battery. And then at the top, this is kind of the end all. Your battery drain will be solved if you turn on the low power mode. You may see tutorials and they go into 100 menus inside of the settings but all of those 100 menus can all be turned off by tapping on the low power mode. This will stop apps from fetching content in the background. Like, you know, if you go to like Facebook, your feed is all loaded. That's because it was loading in the background. The mail app will fetch information from Apple servers, from Google servers, literally every single second. That's how mail is sent to your device. And by turning this one on, it will not send requests to Apple servers, Google servers every single second. It will also slow down the refresh rate and overall you're going to have a far better battery life. The next thing you can do, which low power mode doesn't turn off or turn on for you, is in the home page of settings, we're going to scroll all the way down until you see here, display and brightness and in display and brightness you see the light appearance set this one to dark if you have a iphone with a newer screen so iphone 10 and newer which really should be everyone watching this video then you may notice that part of the screen looks black and the reason why the blacks look so good is because on the newer screens black is displayed as the screen being turned off. So all of this part of the screen here is actually turned off. Okay, the gray stuff, the screen is on, but all these blacks, that is just part of the screen being turned off. And because part of the screen is turned off, guess what? That means less power is needed for the screen to run, which means you can have far better battery life. The only two iPhones where this will not apply is the SE series and the iPhone 11 or 10R because they have the older display technology, but literally any other device will have a massive battery drain improvement with the dark mode. And any individual apps which have a dark mode, turn that one on and that's gonna help massively as well. The next thing is your wallpaper. So you may not wanna do this, but if you want that battery life, then we can change the wallpaper to just be a black image. And that black image means that half the screen will be off, which means better battery. So in order to do this, on the home screen, you're gonna swipe down from the very middle. So swipe down from the middle. And then you're going to long press on the empty space. And now we can change our wallpaper. So we should see a plus here. We're gonna tap on the plus. And now we can create a new wallpaper. At the top here, you're gonna to swipe to the left until you see color, tap on color, and then tap on black. Set this slider so it's fully black. Then tap on the X, and then you're gonna to swipe to the left until you see a solid. So we've created a solid black wallpaper. You can customize the clock, you know, the widgets if you would like, that is up to you. And once we're ready, we're gonna tap on add. And then we're gonna set as a wallpaper pair. We will then tap on the wallpaper. And now our lock screen is black. What this means, is all of this part of the screen is turned off 
which means less power will be used. On the home screen, as a wallpaper is black, everywhere which is not an app icon, the screen is off, which means less power is being used, which means we're going to have better battery life. Of course, all of these things is a sacrifice. So if you don't want to sacrifice anything, let's head to the home page of settings. And then you go into want to locate where it says battery. And then you're going to look for battery health. The lower the maximum capacity, the lower your battery life will be. And over time, as you use your iPhone, the battery will get older and it will not be able to hold as much charge as it used to. So if you don't want to you know, go in with low power mode, you don't want a black wallpaper, which is kind of you know, inconvenient, then you may want to consider replacing your battery. And Apple, well, Apple does charge quite a bit, but it is the best way to replace your battery. Third party repair stores can replace batteries, but typically they're dodgy because they're not Apple official batteries. And you also can't check the maximum capacity of these third party batteries. So I'd recommend you go to Apple, but you can always use third party repair shops at your own risk. With that being said, if you would like to help support the channel, please do check the description. Bye bye.